Milano has a special presentation this morning on what the situation looks like and how some of you watching can even help. Good morning. Over the past few weeks, I've spoken with many involved, including some people here at Grace Retreat, Foster Care and Adoption Services about how they're working to get children into safe and secure houses and even get them adopted. So I'd like to introduce you to a newly created family and why the head of DCS says it's important to get involved with your community. No! Yeah. Meet seventh grader Anila Greggs. I like to be very energetic and like talk to people. With dreams of being an actress. Knock on the window. But family, that was another dream. And I'm really glad that I got adopted by these people. Because <laughs> I get to be with my siblings. With about 14,000 kids in the system, many aren't as lucky as Anila. Uh, that number had dropped as low as 13,000 about a year ago, and then we've seen that number slowly tick up throughout the pandemic. In Arizona, the foster system aims to reunify families, but if that doesn't work, the children are placed with licensed families. We are in a terrible crisis, especially in southern Arizona and Pima County in particular. We are at a 10-year low of foster homes. Greg's, both a product of the system and a foster mom herself, works with the team at Grace Retreat Foster and Adoption Services. Really providing training and support and um, everything that a family might need to do this emotional challenging work. From January to June of this year, AZDCS reports 757 foster homes closed. But we know that the, there will always be a need for foster families. There was needs for foster families years ago. There was needs during the pandemic. Greg said the day in the courtroom with her kids, changed her life. I, I truly believe that we're not only changing these kids' lives, but we're changing their children's lives. And for Anila, no, <laughs> it did just that. Keep believing, because when you believe, you, you will find a family one day. Greg says that each child has a different situation and it's complex, but the goal remains the same, to keep kids safe and to find a family. For more on how you can help organizations like Grace Retreat or to become a foster parent yourself, head to kgun9.com. Tina Giuliano, kgun 9 on your side. Thanks, Tina. Well, a new state law is about to change the way law enforcement approaches missing.